In this video, we're going to explore the basics of Chart.js 3.2. Currently, Chart.js has launched a new version of Chart.js, which is Chart.js version number 3. And that's exciting because there's some new adjustments, but of course, some parts are not backward compatible with Chart.js 2. What we're going to do here is we're going to explore the true, the, the completely basics of it, so really the essence of Chart.js, because they made some adjustments on that. And here I have a tab here, this is my standard HTML file, you can see here this is a, a basic bootstrap card design. We have that here in our chart-basic uh, HTML, and then in here we have the app.js which we will put in the Chart.js JavaScript. And let's start a look here. So once we are on the website here, we click here on get started. And then in here we can see the current version is, as of now, 3.2.1, which is nice. And when we click here on getting started, then we can go here to usage. And in the usage, you'll see here some adjustments here. Right now, I already got this one here. Let me show you here. This is our, or this is the canvas ID. Canvas is the ID with my chart. And what we want to do here is add up the JavaScript items to create the chart. Because right now here we have the CDN, which I have as well for the latest version. And what we're going to do here is the following. And this is really interesting because this is a slight adjustment here. Any of the following formats might be used. So what I'm going to do here before I even explain that, let's copy all of this. You can see here, this is the standard information. And then we go here to app.js and I'm going to save this. Once I save this and refresh here, you can see now we have our beautiful bar chart in chart.js3. What I want to adjust here is, and then, and then I'll show you an example here. This, if you're very familiar with chart.js number two, version two, this is a standard part. And this was always essential to get context, which was a command to draw in a canvas tag. That's basically what I mean. So if we're going to put it in here, I'll just remove all of this here and just save this. Let me go back here and we refresh here. You can see nothing happens or it just maintains. And if I do a, um, a hard reset here, you can see nothing adjusts. If we do this here again, we just remove this, which is normally not the case, not possible with Chart.js version two. You'll see here it works beautifully. And then there's other options. This one here is not possible unless you're using jQuery. So this is the jQuery option, or else you can use the, the short version here, which is also quite useful to use. So we can just put in here, put this here, and it will understand immediately that we are pinpointing the chart.js command. As you can see here, and let, do, let me do here a hard reload or a hard reset. All right, so this works fine. And this is one of the options here right now with Chart.js. It simplifies it. So the question is, what should you use? Well, anything what you prefer. I tend to prefer this structure here. And what I do want to adjust here is some of items. But of course, you can do anything what is more efficient for your preference here. I like this because this is a very traditional way, uh, way of writing it. If you're very used to Chart.js version 2, this is very recognizable. But of course, you can also do with the get context, but it's not necessary at all. Here, what I would suggest here is just to adjust this to a constant instead of variable, which is a more updated version. And there we are. Once we have this here, once we save this, let's go back here. You can see here, nothing really happens. If I just do a hard reset here or hard reload, nothing changes here. That's fine. What I want to explain more here, because this right now here is all consistent except for the scales here. You can see here we have the scales that have adjusted into Y and X. And on here we have the Y axis. That was the normal way of writing it. And if we do this here and refresh, this would be the way. And now they simplify just by pinpointing the Y, which is easier and makes a lot more sense as well since the scales are pinpointed. So if you would have another one, you would have the X axis here, and here you could do anything as well, whatever you want to, to indicate, but this is basically how it works. So this is a very short introduction into Chart.js 
version number three just some basic adjustments as of now so if you like these kind of videos check out my chart.js course i have a link in the description box where you can find all the information about the course and if you click on it you'll be directed to a udemy link of that course so if you have any questions as well put them in the comment section below